Hey, what's up guys? I'm excited to share Octane Texture Pack 3, the procedural edition with you today. And this is another collaboration with my friend Alessandro Banchio. This is a very special pack because we gave ourselves the challenge of creating an entirely procedural product for Octane. So this means that there are zero bitmaps or image textures used in this product and everything is completely procedural and easy to customize. So you're gonna be able to scale these up infinitely and a 2K or a 4K image texture will no longer be your limiting factor. So you're also gonna have a lot more flexibility to change everything, the color, the noise, the size, even the bump and the roughness maps are procedural and you can modify them. This also means that you're gonna have a really easy time sharing projects with collaborators and you can send this to a render farm without compiling all kinds of source images. So all of the textures are seamless as well and almost all of them are set up already with triplanar mapping. This means that the edges are gonna be seamless no matter how many times you scale up your object. And everything is physically correct when it comes to index of refraction. It's incredibly realistic, especially the car shaders. A lot of people use metallic settings for car paint, but that's not actually that realistic. Car paint is made of three layers, and at least in the real world, they have a metal base, metal flakes on top of that, and then the top coat, which is a protection that kind of acts like a plastic. These car shaders are incredibly realistic, and they're also set up to be the real world size of cars, so make sure that your model is sized appropriately. So speaking of size, the workflow on procedural textures is a must know, so here are some tips. Now you can't scale the texture size on your tag. You have to actually open the texture and then click on the node button and look around. So look at your node tree. It's set up so that it's very easy to use. Just look for any transform nodes. These are where you're gonna change the scale. If there are more than one transform nodes, make sure that both of them are sized relative to each other. So a really easy way to do that is just to add an asterisk for a multiplication symbol, and then add a number, say 10, to 10x the size, and make sure to do that with both transform nodes. That's the best way to scale up a texture, and you should be good to go. These were all built for a smaller scale scene, so if they don't look right, play with the scale. And then one other thing is if the node tree includes a dirt node, you can change the radius of the dirt node to match your scene perfectly if it doesn't look quite right. Besides that, everything should be very easy to use, or if you want to dig into the nodes, you can customize pretty much everything. This has been a huge challenge to create a fully procedural pack, and we're pretty stoked with how it turned out. The amount of surface detail, the imperfections, it's pretty incredible, and I hope that you find it useful. As always, thank you for supporting us, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao!